Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're at Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park taking a look at the Bremont S301. First, I want to remind you that I will drop in a link in the description to the Continental Diamond website where you can inquire about purchasing a Bremont model or, or a watch from many other premium brands such as Omega, Breitling, and many others. Uh, an additional reminder that I'd like to make is that I currently have a Kickstarter campaign running for a watch that I personally designed. This is the Hoagland & Sons Mark I Chronograph. It's got a hybrid mechanical and quartz movement, and what that means is it has a smooth second hand, um, and it actually, when you reset the watch, it will fly right back to 12 o'clock, just like a mechanical chronograph, but you get the reliability and accuracy of a quartz movement. Additionally, you have time zone and unit conversion scales on the, pa on the case back, which are super useful for traveling. So check out the Kickstarter link in the description if you want to inquire about purchasing this piece. Uh, the Kickstarter price is going to be $149 per unit, but the retail price after the Kickstarter campaign has finished will be $249. So it does behoove you to purchase the uh, watch prior to the ending of the Kickstarter campaign, which is the morning of October 14th. So now let's move on to the Bremont S301. Now this is one of my favorite divers from Bremont. It's just very simplistic. It's got a 40 millimeter case size, which is just very classic in its dimensions. Additionally, you have a very high quality bezel and a series of um, very nice kind of colors on that dial. The red blends in very well with the faux aged loom, which typically, uh, many of you guys know, I do not really like faux aged loom. I think it's kind of cheating, um, especially on watches that are supposed to look like older models. However, in this particular case, since Bremont is a relatively new brand, there aren't really any vintage Bremonts that they're trying to kind of look like, and it really does look nice with the red on the dial. Um, so I, I'll actually make one exception for this piece in terms of foage loom, but um, they do have other models of this watch that do not have that. Um, I think that it looks nice on this, just especially because it's supposed to be kind of a, it's supposed to be a heritage piece and just the combination with the red looks very, very nice. Um, moving on to the case back of the piece, you can see that it has a float plane diagram and that kind of uh, plays into the whole aviation heritage of Bremont. Um, now moving on to kind of the tech, technical specifications. So it's got a modified chronometer grade ETA movement, but um, yeah, it should be noted that it is ETA based and that allows the watch to have a lower price uh, of around $4,095. Um, but Bremont is working on in-house movements, so that's something important to note. Now moving on to a wrist shot of this piece. It's an extremely comfortable watch because of the, the leather is just very, very soft on the band. It's extremely high quality. Um, and I think that this watch would look very good on most people's wrists in terms of sizing. It might look a little bit small if you have a really large wrist. I would say it wears more like a 39 as opposed to a 40 just because of the thinness of the piece. And also the kind of articulating lugs that kind of move around your wrist. I think that it wears slightly smaller than 40 millimeters, but uh, I think it would look good on most people's wrist. Again, if you had a really large wrist, it would look, um, it might look a little bit small, but for people with small wrists, this watch is actually perfect. Um, I have about a 6.5 inch wrist in circumference, just for comparison purposes. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and also remember to check out the Continental Diamond website, as well as the Kickstarter campaign for the Hoagland & Sons Mark I Chronograph. Thank you for watching.